It's mostly not the results, even if uh, sport is all about results. <laughs> but it's um, very much about a feeling uh, that I want to be on my highest level. And that's only a feeling, <laughs> so it's really hard to describe. Uh, you're looking for uh, a race, a competition, when you go all out and you come to the finish line and you feel happy with your accomplishment, that you feel that you gave it all. Mona Brodsson is probably not the star name of the Swedish biathlon powerhouse. Yet, she has always been a pillar of her team, even more so now that she's entering the final stages of her career. Yeah, it, it was always strange uh, from the first time, like being the oldest when you're 24, you don't know anything <laughs> about life or training or <laughs> But it's been um, also how you, grow, how you grow up, you do it together in the team. I think it was, uh, yeah, it was quite special that the, the whole team like started new. It was like a whole new team and then, so we, we come all this way more or less together. Of course now we have some new ones also but we really made a journey. <laughs> Rapidly, Brorson saw a team that went from barely having a lineup for the relay to fighting within the team for a starting bib. To manage this new situation was one of the hardest things of their past seasons. We've been working so much with these questions in the team uh, like how do we handle the competition uh, how do how can we still stay a strong team even though we are competing about the same spots and uh, you really have to talk about it and work for it and uh, we we invested some time in it so uh, it of course it's hard in the moment for the individual but you still know that you're part of the team and when i got back it was like uh, so so easy like uh, coming back to your family <laughs> indeed brorson experienced the falling out and climbing back into the World Cup team last season as sickness compromised her late 2022 after a really good summer of trainings I was a bit stressed because the team uh, still was so good and of course I just wanted to get back and I wanted to compete. Who want to go back training <laughs> in December? <laughs> um, but looking in the mirror it was the wrong decision and I started in the IBU Cup which was many years ago <laughs> and it was, it was also a challenge of course mostly mentally like how do I find myself in this situ situation this is obviously not where I want to be but it is where I am right now and it gave me uh, a lot of pers perspective I really enjoyed it <laughs> uh, I realized like biathlon is just as fun no matter the stage and I think it was really important for me to to find the pure joy in it like made me think uh, obviously uh, also um, about my career, like how much do I want to do this? How for how much longer do I want to do this? And uh, I, I decided I, I'm going to fight. <laughs> With an Olympic gold and a World Championship silver medal in the relays and one World Cup podium individually, Brochon kept showing steady improvements over the years, winning the Summer Nationals this year at the age of 33. I mean, I think it's kind of a myth that um, you have to be at your best at 27, 28. And I think that that causes a lot of uh, really good athletes to retire too early. Uh, of course, you should only continue if you're still hungry, if you're still motivated and want more. Uh, but don't be so afraid of try uh, to, to become better. It's, uh, at least for me, um, it's been possible. But of course, I've also had to do to do some adaptations <laughs> because I'm not 20 anymore and uh, so uh, for me it's been uh, finding a new balance and uh, still hungry for more. And so what is this more? <laughs> yeah in biathlon you yeah you, you never run out of dreams <laughs> that's for sure 
but of course I'm, I'm looking forward to the Novo Mesto World Championships. It's a venue I like a lot <laughs> and of course dreaming of medals. Um, but it's like the hardest part is just being part of the team. <laughs> so, but once if you qualify, everything is possible. Obviously, despite the focus is still on biathlon, Groschen has started thinking about the next steps in her life. Of course, I'm curious, curious about what comes next. And I'm more and more looking forward to what comes after biathlon. Um, but I'm keeping it open. <laughs> Like, um, I just want to enjoy the, the, the very la the last time, the, the, the time I have left in Biathlon. Uh, I haven't set a hard date that this is when I quit. But I know that it's not so much left. <laughs> it's not going to be many years. So, it uh, makes me more grounded in the moment, I think. Like, more... Uh, I'm more able to enjoy every last minute of it. I'm gonna enjoy every venue, every <laughs> aspect of the sport. And then we will see what comes after. 